What's up guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to add the looting chest feature onto the inventory system. For anyone here just looking for the download, the link is in the description. But before you do that, if you could just hear me out for one minute, that would be super appreciated. The first thing I wanted to say is that if you would like to see more downloadable content like this, or if you're interested in learning Unreal, it'd be so awesome if you guys dropped a sub. It really supports me creating videos like these, and if you liked this video, I'm sure you'll like my content to come, where I'll be producing tutorials on more interesting topics and giving out even better free downloads. Loads. If you don't want to subscribe, that's completely fine. But if you could drop a comment under this video quickly explaining how I can improve my content to encourage people like you to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. The second thing I wanted to say is that I've actually made tutorials for this entire inventory system. So for anyone trying to learn Unreal or create their own game, I'd really recommend going through the tutorials from the start so you can get a proper understanding of the software and you know what's going on. I work really hard to make my tutorials as simple and as straight to the point as possible so you guys can just speed through them. Not only will it help you if you plan to add any extra features onto the inventory system but it will improve your Unreal Engine 4 knowledge significantly because we do cover some pretty advanced topics. So for anyone up for the challenge I'll leave a link in the description to the first tutorial you need to follow. If you just want to download it I hope it helps you out and I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have in the comments section or my discord. So people downloading the whole inventory system first download in the description. People follow me on the tutorial second download. Okay guys, once you've downloaded the tutorial project, you should have a project which looks like this. So what we're going to do is migrate this folder over to our project. So we're going to right click it, migrate, click OK, then select your content folder and I'll see you guys when that's done. So what have I given you this time? So if you open up your folder, we have the chest, which you've got before, but we've got a chest blueprint where I've just sorted some things out. I'll explain those things in a minute. Then if you open up the UI chest inventory widget this is going to be our chest inventory again this is just an image of the chest that i made in photoshop i'll leave the link in the description so you guys can change those and then we've just put chest slot widgets over the top just like in our inventory we had inventory slots now we've made another widget if you open this one up chest slot widget which is exactly the same as the inventory slot widget but this one's going to be for the chest just so we can call them separately then finally we have the pickup widget which will be the button which shows when we click on an item in the chest. We had to change it because we don't want to be able to use the item straight from the chest or drop the item from the chest. All we want to do is to be able to pick it up. So that's what we've got so far. So now let me explain what this chest blueprint is doing. And I'd really recommend before you do this, before you watch this, is it that you watch my chest tutorial, then you will know everything which is going on here pretty much straight away. So for anyone who's watched the, the video, everything's pretty much the same apart from this. So what we're doing on Event Begin Play is creating the chest inventory widget, then we're storing it as a variable. Then for the colors, I just made a different function down here. So instead of off event, event begin play assigning the colors, I just made a function event here, custom event to set the colors here. Then on overlap, we're gonna enable disable input. You guys know this before. Then on the E key, we're gonna call the custom event open chest. Then we press it again, we're gonna close chest. And those custom events are just over here. So we're gonna move component, we're gonna open the chest. You guys have seen that before. Then we're gonna add the chest inventory widget to the viewport, show the mouse cursor, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, lock the screen. You guys know all that. Then on close chest, we're just gonna remove the widget from the viewport, hide the mouse, and then close the chest. And that's everything, all pretty simple. When we press E in front of the chest, the chest opens, then the widget displays, and then we've got our widget here, the mouse, the screen locks, the mouse shows, etc. Then when we press E again, the widget disappears first, and then the chest closes. So the first thing we're gonna do so we can put items in the chest is just change our item structure. So we're gonna go into our migrate folder with our, with our previously made structure, double click to open it up, then under item class, instead of health potion, you're just gonna type actor, under actor, change this to class reference, and then save this. Next, we're going to go into our chest BP, the one with the actual chest and everything in it. And we're just going to create a variable and call this chest item info. Then for variable type, we're going to bring in our struct called item info structure. And then we're just going to change it to an array and click instance editable and compile. So now we've got that variable. If you bring a chest into the level for each chest, you can now decide what's in it. So now you should see your variable in the settings and we can add an item. So if you click the plus sign, this will add an item into the chest. Then you just give it the name, the description, etc. So this is all pretty self-explanatory. Name, icon, stackable, item class, you select which item it is. And then stack size is how many of the item you want to be in there. So if you want a stack of three mana potions, stack size of three, 
but then give it a name, mana potion, give it the icon, and you're done. So that is how you add item infos into your chest. Now we can use the item info to actually fill the chest's widgets. Next, we're gonna open our inventory slot that we made in the previous episode. So under migrate, under UI, open up the inventory slot, and we're just going to copy everything from here to our chest inventory slot. So migrate new, UI, chest slot widget, under graph, we're just going to paste everything in like so because we want the chest inventory slot to do the same things as the inventory we just want it to be able to be picked up instead of used and dropped we don't need to pass the items over to the game instance because the chest is going to be set in each level so you don't need to drag any information from the game instance which is nice we can remove anything to do with the game instance we can remove the drop item because we don't want to drop the item and we can remove the use item but instead of removing this use item i'm just going to change that to pick up item so we don't need to recreate any custom events or nodes and then we only need one set item because we're not working with a game instance, we only need one of these because we only need one to call. And we don't need to keep track of the current quantity because everything in the chest is going to have a set quantity. So let's start by destroying this drop item because we don't want that. We still want the description and we still want to add the menu, but we don't want to add the drop use menu. We want to add the pickup menu but we'll change that later. We still want to remove one item, but we don't want to remove one item. This will just remove all the items and transfer them all over to the chest. Then use item is going to be pick up item. Then we can delete this because we're not going to be working with the game instance. And this is already looking a lot tidier. Okay, let's begin with setting an item in the chest. Let's start by tidying it up so we can get rid of the add array element because we don't want anything to do with the game instance, everything's going to be preset. Then we can delete these for now because we don't want the, the variable item info name, we want the chest item info. And we can delete the quantity because we're not keeping track of quantity, it's going to be a set quantity. Then we can recombine these so it's just a bit tidier. And we can change the name of this to set item to chest. Then we can bring this out and promote this to variable and this is going to be called chest item info. So as we know from our previous episode, what this custom event is doing is when we get assigned a free inventory slot, we're going to be setting the item details to the inventory slot. So we're going to be setting the picture, the quantity, the description. So we can start off by just splitting our chest item info and just assigning the item info we received and setting it for each thing here. So we don't want the current quantity. The quantity is going to be our stack size, whatever stack we say it is. And the description is going to be like that. Then we just need to do one more thing, and that is we need to set the stack size ID as a variable. You would usually just promote this to a variable, but I've already done it for you. So just Alt and drag in stack size, and we can stack set that here. We just need to set this variable here so we can use it later when we're picking up the items. We can loop how many we're picking up depending how much of the stack size is. So that is everything. Okay, now we need to change the widget that pops up when we click on an item. Because it is usually, it was this one, but now we want it to just be this one. So it can just offer the pickup option. So onto our chest widget, we're going to change this to create pickup widget. Then we're going to delete this, delete this. And delete this and delete this. Oh, not that one. The, this one. Then we're going to select our new pickup widget. So we're selecting our pickup widget here. Then we're promoting this one to a variable. Call this pickup widget. Oh, we've already got a variable for this. So just bring in this set and drag that onto there. Then connect that to that. And now we need to get the pickup button. So when we click this button, we want to be able to pick up the item. So if we bring in, drag off this and type in get pickup, because that is the name of the button, it's called pickup. So we're getting it from this widget. And then on clicked, we then want to change this to pick up items. So we're gonna pick up these items the same way we picked them up in the consumables we made in the previous episode. So under migrate, consumables open up any one of your consumables then we're just going to copy this we're just getting a reference from our character which has the inventory and we're just going to add the item to the inventory so copy this and we're going to 
destroy all this for now. I'm just going to change this use item to pick up item to make things a bit clearer. And we don't want to add the item info, we want to add the chest item info. Like so. So the item that gets assigned to this chest slot is going to get passed over to the inventory. But we're forgetting about the stack size. If we just do this like this, this will add one of the item. But we want to loop this over for as many times as we've got stacks. So what we can do is bring in our stack size that we created earlier, control and drag. And then if we do for loop with break, and then alt, alt click this to break it, and set this as our last index, set this as one, then we're gonna plug this like this. So what this is gonna do is, it will run as many times as the stack size is. If the stack size is three, our starting number is one, we run it once, then we run it twice, then we run it three times. So after we've added all the items to the inventory, we then want to just reset the stack size down to zero. If we pick up the item, we want to hide this pickup widget because it won't look right. If we pick up the item, then the pickup sign is still there. So we can just call our event hide, which will just trigger this and it will remove it from parent. Then on the end of add to inventory, we then want to bring in the remove item. This will basically clear the slot after we've done it. This will call this custom event up here but we haven't done that just yet now moving down to our show hide use drop menu now we need to change some things around so we can delete the use drop hud this was our variable we made for the using and dropping items for our inventory then we can just change this to our pickup widget so control drag this in we want to add the pickup widget to the viewport is it visible and plug that in. The reason I'm going a little bit quick is because all this is explained in the inventory tutorials previously, so you guys should more or less know what's going on here. Then we want to remove from parent like so. So now instead of adding the use or drop widget, we're going to be adding the pickup widget. For the description, I think the description is going to be exactly the same as we had it before. We're just going to set the visibility of the description text that we have here. Okay, so now almost done. Now we just need to do the remove item. So I'm just going to move all this down a little bit and then slot this remove item somewhere. So when we pick up an item from a slot, say we've got two health potions there, we don't want to just pick up one, obviously that'd be stupid, we want to pick all of them. So first we need to delete the game instance thing because we no longer need to pass any information to the game instance. Then we can delete the quantity because it's irrelevant because we want to pick up all the health potions, not just one. So we no longer need this. All we want to do when we pick up the items is set the image to blank again, set the quantity to nothing, set it to not filled and remove the description. So we're basically removing all the information that we set in the set item to chest. Okay, so now we've blueprinted each individual chest slot. Now we can actually blueprint the chest inventory as a whole to decide which information gets assigned to which slot. So we're going to go into our chest inventory widget. And the way we're going to populate this is going to be very similar to the way we populated our inventory. So we're going to go onto our content browser, find our inventory, and then we're going to copy on the right side, we're going to copy this bottom bit here. So copy this all over to our chest inventory widget. So as it stands, this is exactly the same as the inventory, but instead of with the inventory doing inventory slots and making an array with the inventory slots here, this is making an array with the chest slots, which we've just blueprinted. So these blueprints we just copied from the inventory. It was stocking up the inventory with all the items stored in the game instance. So we want to do a very similar thing now, but we don't want to do the items from the game instance. We want to do the items that we list in our variable chest item info. So we can get rid of this and we can add an input to this custom event. So press, press the plus sign, call this chest items info and this is going to be array, an array and this is going to have the variable type item info structure. I'm going to change this custom events name to fill chest dash check available slot. So for each one of our items that we set in the chest BP we want to find an available slot for it. So we need a for loop. So for each item we want to find a slot 
Then instead of the inventory slot, we want to assign it in the chest inventory array. We need to remake this for each loop we break. Delete this. Then we need to check if the chest inventory slot is filled. So we're going to drag up this and get it filled. So imagine we've got a health potion and a mana potion in our chest BP that we want to add to our inventory slot. We go through the array of items. For the first slot, is it filled? No, it's not filled. Set that so the health potion goes in the first slot, then break. Then for our second item, is the first one filled? Yes, it is because it's got the health potion in it. Go to the second one. Is that filled? No, it's not. And then we can set the item to that one. So and then we can just plug these in like this. And now we can set item to chest. Plug that into there. Then plug that into the break. Then the item info is going to come off the for each loop. And you can select all these and comment. Some items made in chest BP. So now we can fill up the chest inventory with the information we get from the chest BP. So now we just need to pass the information from the chest BP to this inventory slot, no, inventory widget. So after we assign the colors of the chest, we're going to add to viewport. For some reason, you can only assign things in the chest when the viewport is open. So what we can do is open it really quickly, assign the items, then close it. Then we can fill chest. And what we're gonna be filling it with is the chest item info we have here. And then we can remove from parent. So we can bring it up fill it up and then remove it again. So now if we go onto our third person map, bring in a chest, give it an item. So you'll notice when we play the level, when we open a chest, we can see the chest, but we can't see our inventory. So it'd be quite nice if the inventory opens as well, so then we can see when the items are getting transferred. So onto our chest blueprint, if we cast to our character, whatever that may be, convert this to pure cast then get player character as the reference then get our inventory and then when we open the chest we want to add to viewport and when we close our chest we want to remove from viewport but we want to put this at the start when we close down our other widget. When we close down the chest widget, we want to also close down the inventory widget. We want them to close at the same time. And guys, that is everything. So just remember, we're creating the items in the chest blueprint as a variable. We're passing those items over to the chest inventory. That's looking for an available slot for those items. When it finds a free slot, it's just going to assign those items in the slot. Then in the slot, we're just handling everything we want to do with that item. So when we want to show the pickup menu, when we want to show the description, when we want to remove the item from the slot, and when we want to pick up that item and transfer it over to the inventory system, that's all happening in the slot. And guys, that is everything for this episode. I hope I went into enough detail so you guys could understand it, but I hope I didn't go into too much detail so I was blabbering on and you already knew what was going on. But yeah, phew, I'm glad to be done with that. Really confusing stuff guys, so well done if you've understood it. But if you haven't understood it, just try again and feel free to ask, ask any questions in the comment sections and I'll do my best to respond and help you guys out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. See you in the next video.